a number of people, myself included, say that liberals of the 20th century are over. And if you look at this government right now, it's not a liberal government, it is a woke, Justin government. So then, what's going to be in the future for the liberals and for the conservatives? Tasha Carradine is a smart policy person, a smart politician. You've been involved in the Conservative Party for a long time. My view is that we're going to have to, everybody, take a different tack and say, we need enough of this stupidity and on to some common sense. Well, you stole my words, Stephen, because actually one of the organizations I'm involved with this year is something called Center Ice Canadians. And we are just that. We're uh, conservatives, liberals, people who are clustered around the sort of center, center right ideas who want to do politics differently and have a place for discussion and common sense ideas, as opposed to these extremes that you do see a lot of rhetoric, a lot of clickbaiting from both of the major parties. Yeah, you, well, you do see that. And if you put out an idea, someone will say, well, no, no you, 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 you're off base. Right. We can't talk about that, right. and that's very dangerous to uh, debate. It's happening more and more in Canada, and it shouldn't. I fight back against that, and I'm sure you do too. So when you're saying center ice, so is it, um, it's not liberalism or conservatism. It, it's about what? Just more common sense or common, better solutions and less government? Common sense, practical solutions. Rick Peterson came up with the name Center Ice because he's a hockey fan. So yeah. that's how that started. Uh, it started during the conservative leadership, but it's morphed into basically a place for people who feel they want to engage in politics, but not in a partisan way. So we're hosting events. We have one in Toronto on the 28th um, of February at the Albany Club. With, with, uh, we've got See, liberals. some people are going to say, oh, Albany Club, and you're saying yeah, common sense. That's just you right-wingers trying to hide your real motive. No, Tyler Meredith, Bonnie Crombie are both going to be there, as well as Lisa Raitt and Andrew Coyne. We're going to have a good conversation about the budget, which is coming up in March. Yeah. Uh, this is the kind of thing we do, is have these events, because people are looking for a place to discuss without the extremes, without the rhetoric, and that's what this is for. So we want any party that's interested in these ideas to pick them up. Um, so, it's I mean, getting a lot of traction. Would this mean you're, you're in favor of uh, uh, a smaller deficit? And balancing the budget? I think that's going to be on the agenda. That's right wing. No, it's not right wing. Think, think of what Paul Martin had to do. Paul Martin was probably the bluest liberal you could find, and he balanced the books. Um, it, this is the kind of people that I think that a lot of people feel like the Trudeau government, to your point, has gone very, very far to the left. And some people in the Conservative Party feel uncomfortable with certain elements there of the sort of harder or extreme right conversation that's having. So it's a way to move things a bit towards a place of dialogue. It's more a style, I think, and than a simple policy prescription. Tasha, are you confident that you can steer this group or make this group with such constituents that it is not going to be you know, labeled by the Wokies as these right-wing crazies? Oh, absolutely not. It's not that at all. It's a place, like I said, it's centrist politics. And there's people who converge around the center a little bit to the left of it, a little bit to the right of it. But what they have in common is they want a civil conversation. And that's where it starts. Okay, and we're going to put the, um, the information on that at the bottom of this show. Tasha, Fabulous. thank you. Three minutes. Thank you for contributing. We are almost out of the hole. People like the show, and we want to keep it on the air. So, press subscribe. Press PayPal. PayPal is really simply uh, a credit card that you can pay with. And if you're writing a check or a letter, please put your address in because I will send a letter to everybody who contributes money. Subscribe, PayPal. Thank you.